Sweetheart, sweetheart, what's all this for God's sake? Can't we settle this score? We really didn't get him to know about it. Okay, I, I am sorry. I'm really sorry. Let us go back to the room and settle this once and for all, please. Guys. What else do you want us to settle again in the room? What else? You've already made yourself clear. You said it with your baritone voice that my suggestion cannot be taken. My dear, that was not what I meant. Children, what's up? So what do you mean? What else can you mean when you said it is not possible? That is the problem I have with you. It is only a suggestion that counts. Mine does not have value. After all, I am your wife. Don't I have the right to advise you? But any time I do, you discuss this with little excuse. My dear, there you go again. Have you forgotten so soon I have taken your advice in the past? Have you forgotten those brilliant and intelligent suggestions you have brought that you gave me and I received them, made use of them and the wonderful result it gave to us as a family? Have you forgotten all of that? But you know, what I'm saying is that this time around, your suggestion is not right. I mean, just think of it. How can we go ahead and tell them that their children should stop playing with their own children? For what reason? Eh? And up till now, you have not given me a point about why you don't want this children to play with our own children. Eh? You have not been able to give me one negative behavior in those children. So, my dear, to me it looks as if we are trying to exhibit pride or something. Now please tell me, sweetheart, what exactly do you have against those children? My spirit just doesn't flow with them. <laughs> Your spirit just doesn't flow with them, my dear. Now, do you realize that even if we ask these children to stop playing with our children at home, have you forgotten that those children attend the same school with our children? And can we go and stop them from playing together at school? So it's not possible. So, sweetheart, can you hear yourself? You look unreasonable. You sound unreasonable. Yes, it's not reasonable. Hola, mm -hmm. So I am not reasonable. I am not reasonable. Yet you approached my family to ask for my hands in marriage. I am not reasonable. Yet you took me to the altar to marry. I am not reasonable. Yet I became the mother of your children. I am not reasonable, Abby. My dear, that's not what I'm trying to say. Don't dare me. I am not reasonable. I, Olayemi, the daughter of Adeshupo, is not reasonable. I see. A Christian home is the best. A godly home where true love is shared. Husband and wife, oh, love each other sincerely. Sweetheart, a Christian home is the best. A godly home where true love is shared.
Sweet as I said, I am sorry. That was not what I meant. Love each other sincerely. I'm sorry, you are taking this too personal. Or you run my okay. Joy. I admit that I am wrong. And please forgive me. I am sorry, please. I will miss God's word. Sweetheart, please open this door so that I can tell you how sorry I am. I am sorry, please. Sweetheart, I said I am sorry. It was a slip of tongue. I wish not to spoil this weekend for us. Please, I am sorry. I am sorry. Imagine. It did not even refer to the history of the children. True love is that means it still bends on his decision. Love each other sincerely. A Christian home is the best. How long will I continue to beg you? I am not at fault at all. Ah. Husband and wife. Oh. Love each other sincerely. Is this Titi? Why is he not knocking oh, again? Joy, 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 okay. Maybe, as he said. I will miss beauty on God's word. My heart belongs to you. Hey, for you were my joy. joy, joy, joy. The love of my life, our home is built on God's word. We are happy family. Oh, you earn my joy, 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 joy. The love of my life, our home is built on God's word. My heart belongs to you. Hey, for you were my joy. Joy, 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 joy. The love of my life. Our home is built on God's world. We are a happy family. Yeah, Walumi, bless the food. Walumi, bless the food. In Jesus' name. Amen. Allah, we thank you for providing our food. Thank, thank you, Jesus. because you now beg for this food. Thank you, Jesus. So it's a five by pressure of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. I have a delicious. Yes. Hmm? Delicious. I'm a good cook. That is sweet. It's delicious. Mm hmm. Cool. That's my guess. I hope I'm going. Yes, sir. Take the cups and bring up this. Thank you. 
She said we should continue. What? Mommy said we should continue. That we should continue? Say, were you not here when I was talking to Dad? You are too rude. Rude my foot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Daddy, what up, Mommy? Pray for us. I mean, Mommy. I said, pray for us. Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. King of kings, Lord of lords, King of glory, Father of men, in name be exalted, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, thank you for keeping us alive, in name be exalted, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I want to see the Lord of 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 the Lord I say thank you, say thank you, come on, it's time for my devotion, anytime I see another breaking of the day, I say thank you, thank you, anytime, anytime I see another breaking of the day, I say thank you, that's right. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for this opportunity we have to be among the living souls today. We are exalted in Jesus' name. As we go, briefly to your word, we ask, O oh God, that you speak to us in Jesus' name. Open our eyes of understanding. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. God bless you. So this morning, uh, the Lord laid it in my heart to talk about the story of the Israelites. Open your Bibles to Genesis chapter chapter 19. Genesis chapter 19. Are we there? So, actually we are talking about the story of how God took the Israelites all the way from Egypt to Canaan. But you know, there was something that happened along the line. They couldn't get to the promised land because they were hard-hearted. They were obstinate and they, they were disobedient. And so God is not happy when, when, when there is only a small issue and we, we blow it and we are making a lot of noise and we are, we, we are hard-hearted. We are stubborn. It's not good. So don't be stubborn. Sure. You understand? Don't be stubborn. Don't be obstinate. It's not good as children of God. How we understand? God bless you. God bless you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, we thank you. We bless you, Father, because we are faithful God. Thank you for your word. Thank you for opening our eyes of understanding to your word. Thank you for instructing us from your word not to be obstinate. Accept our thanksgiving in the name of Jesus. I pray in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of stubbornness, every spirit of stiff nakedness, every spirit of disobedience that might want to manifest in any members, member of this family's life, in the name of Jesus, we curse them in the name of Jesus. Like you told us in the Bible, in your word that we read, that majority of the children of Israel could not get to the promised land because of obstinacy and stubbornness. A lot of people will not get to heaven because of obstinacy and stubbornness. We will not be any of such people in the name of Jesus. Father. <laughs> It was the sin of one man, Achan, that led to the destruction of the entire family. Every Achanic spirit in this family, I pray they will not prosper in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray. 
<laughs> ah, it was the sin of if. The Bible says, if was beguiled, such that he became obstinate, stubborn, and he made her husband to sin. And the sin of that woman, it, we are still suffering from it today. Every heart that the devil will want to take over in this family, that will create any problem for this family. I pray, oh God, that you will touch such heart in the name of Jesus. Amen. We also read every spirit of stubbornness. Go out in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every spirit of edginess. Get out in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray this morning, oh God, you will deliver us. Amen. You will give us peace in this house. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. As we go about our activities today, your presence will be with us. Thank you, Father, for all you have done. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. A Christian home God is the you. best. God bless you. A godly home where true love, love is shared. Let's go. Husband and wife, oh. love, love each other sincerely. If a place of prayer turns to a place of cause, what do I do? Then, I will abstain from the family altar of cause and abuse. But I will not abstain from God. I will strengthen my personal altar with God. Lord, please help me, Lord. Lord, help me. I'm sorry, I don't want to fail you, Lord. I don't want to fail you. Help me. Lord, help me. 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 Help a Christian home is the best. A godly home where true love is shared. Husband and wife, oh, love each other sincerely. A Christian home is the best. A godly home where true love is shared. Husband and wife, oh, love each other sincerely. <laughs> oh, you earn my joy, 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 the love of my life. Our home is built on God's word. My heart belongs to you. Hey. For you were my joy, 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 joy the love of my life. Our home is built on God's word. We are a happy family. For you were my joy. joy, joy Just to remind you that you are one of those leading prayer at the Women Conference tomorrow. Please. Take your time. Ten minutes is your duration. Hello? Mrs. James. Hello? Are you there? Hello, ma. Praise God. I thought you are not there. I just want to say. For me. No, no, you should give it for another person, ma. Ah. Why? Are you traveling? No, ma. Then what is the matter? Mommy. Yes? I'm feeling so empty. I've been praying for over two hours now. But I can't just get into the mood. Mommy, my heart is noisy. Okay, it is well. Well, let's see and discuss that. Okay? God bless you. No, 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 no. 
That's very bad. Do you really know what family altar is? Eh? I mean, family altar is not a place where you react to your spouse's action negatively. Eh? It's not a place where spouse get back at each other. Family altar is a place of raising an altar for God, a place of communion with your Creator, and a place of encounter with the Divine. My brother, Jacob barely understood this. He said, God is there, and I knew it not. My brother, why do you desecrate the altar of God with your attitude? I mean, why, why, why do you get mad at your wife during prayer altar? I mean, it's, it's, it sounds somehow. You are a child of God. You need to understand the rudiments of prayer that will help you in your family. You see, my sister, personal altar cannot take the place of family altar. Neither can family altar. Replace your personal altar with God. In fact, you draw strength from your personal altar to fire your family altar. And so also, your family altar helps warm your personal devotion. When individuals receive revelation, coming together is a blessing. A corporate anointing that cannot be broken. My dear sister, the reason your heart is noisy is because the God on your personal altar is the same God on your family altar. And you want to talk to the God on your personal altar and leave out the God on your family altar. It doesn't work like that. A place of prayer is a place to seek the face of God, to go in His ways to obtain mercy, and to find grace to help in times of need. Settle all scores around the altar. And the altar is you. The Bible says, we are the temple of the living God. Remember Bartimaeus. He threw off his garments to meet with Jesus. Why not throw off your garments of pride? Disobedience. Every sin whatsoever, and he will your right for the spirit to flow like a river in your home. Uh, my brother, I feel strongly that the Holy Spirit wants me to tell you this. Ensure that you settle any quarry before family altar. If you have any misunderstanding with your spouse, anytime you want to pray, Please say to it. If not, you will think you are praying, but you are actually deceiving yourself. You remember what the Lord Jesus said in Matthew chapter 5, verse 23? The Bible says, anytime you bring a gift to the altar, and you remember that somebody has any quarrel against you, it says you should drop that gift go back and settle that quarry, then you come back and present the gift. Never allow any quarry with your spouse to spill over to the next morning without settling it. Your home will be what God wants it to be. As long as you are raising an altar of true worship, from pure hearts, righteous living, and holy relationship. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we ask for your mercy. In the name of Jesus, we know we have abandoned our altar, but we are ready to come back and rebuild our altar. In the name of Jesus, Lord, have mercy. 
Are there things we have made on account of abandoning our order? Oh God, will now begin to restore us in the name of Jesus. Have mercy and come back into our family, oh God, and do what only you can do. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, rebuild our order. Let your fire come back on our altar. Help us to do the right things as a house, as a family, in the name of Jesus. Let's see Amos chapter 3, verse 3. Amos 3, 3. Okay. Amos 3, 3. Amos 3, 3. The Bible says, And two walk together, except they agree. So, we are coming to a new agreement now. I will rebuild our altar. We are going to tell it to God. Lord, we have agreed to come back to our altar. We want to renew our commitment together. So let's pray to God that God will sustain us. We establish this new commitment in the name of Jesus. Lord, help us establish this commitment in the name of Jesus. Let it be, O God, that you make us agree in everything so that we can rebuild our altar. Lord, let our altar begin to, to have fire on it. And as we pray from now, things will begin to happen in righteousness. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, we want to begin to see our sign again. That as we pray your presence, oh God, we continually manifest in our home. You continually help us to be together to build a strong altar. An altar that God can come and fellowship with us. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for watching today's episode of the Husband and Wife series. To be one of our partners, kindly send your seat to our ministry's account. Thank you. God bless you. Husband and wife, oh, love each other sincerely. For you are my joy, 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 the love of my life. My I will miss you, Tongos. What my heart belongs to you.